Joan Jett from Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and tonight's featured album will be Up Your Alley by uh, Joan and the Blackhearts. Are you satisfied with the way the album came out? Very much, yes. I'm very happy with it. You recorded part of it up in Woodstock, didn't you? Well, we did a couple of, of the basic tracks up there, yeah. You also went back to the 60s once again, and you did the old Chuck Berry thing, Tulane. Why'd you pick that? Well, I thought it was a very obscure Chuck Berry song that nobody was really familiar with. And so we decided to do it and make people familiar with it because I think Chuck Berry is a great artist, a great rock and roll artist. You have a knack for going back and, and doing the old songs. Of course, you write some good songs yourself, but you were on top of the Tommy James thing before Billy Idol and Tiffany. Uh -huh. How does that make you feel when you hear all that stuff rehashed? Well, it makes me realize that, that I went back to an, a, a good period of time, song time, you know, to, to get song ideas. You know, everybody else seemed to pick up on it, you know, even... I'd like to, you know, hear, hear people do Sly and the Family Stone songs and stuff, so um, it makes me hope that nobody does the songs I'm going to do. What kind of music do you listen to, Joan, when you're relaxing? Basically, I listen to my inf a lot of my, the stuff that I grew up listening to, which was Chuck Berry, Jimi Hendrix, The Rolling Stones, The Who, um, then a lot of the early 70s British glitter music, uh, Gary Glitter and David Bowie, T-Rex. And then I was heavily influenced also by the... I was already playing in a band at the time, but I was influenced by the, the uh, punk rock stuff in, in England because I was actually there when a lot of it was happening, so it was hard not to be influenced. Also, I'm sure you're aware of your old bandmate Lita Ford is, is making a splash on the top 40 charts right now. Yeah. With um, Kiss Me Deadly. we were right. <laughs> yeah, you definitely were. She has a new one, something about a cave. Back yeah. in the cave. Yeah. But um, we're spotlighting the uh, All Hit 98 album spotlight tonight is Joan Jett and the Black Hearts, Up Your Alley. Joan, do you have a favorite track on this album? Well, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I have a favorite track, but I mean, because I, I like them all the same. It just it bounces around from week to week, what I like to do. I mean, I love this, the, the single that's out now, I Hate Myself for Loving You. It's definitely a favorite. There's a lot of gospel overtones also in your music if you go back a few years and listen to good music. We had Darlene Love, who was a singer from The Crystals from the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, and she was, sings a lot of the, my backgrounds, actually. She was on uh, Up Your Alley, too, tonight, you'll hear. And just because uh, our voices sound really good together, we sing backgrounds a lot together. They sure do. Very quickly, Joan, you just did something with Michael J. Fox recently. Springsteen wrote the song, Light of Day. How did that come about? Oh, well, uh, I was just actually offered the script, and, and they said, do you want to do this? And at first I wasn't really interested because it had to do with music. I wanted to do a real acting role. But after reading the script and realizing I was definitely going to have to act because this person was nothing like me except for the musical aspects, um, I, I wanted to do it because working with somebody like Michael J. Fox and Jenna Rollins and, and the people I worked with was... It was a good way to start, definitely. Couldn't pass up the opportunity. Joan, what advice do you have for aspiring rock and rollers? Oh boy, you have to really believe in what you're doing. If you want to, you know, play in a band and do that for a living, you have to do it because of the music and for nothing else. You know, you can't have uh, ulterior motives. You have to do it for the love of your audience and of the music. Mm -hmm. And that's really the bottom line. Well, we're anticipating your performance here in Lexington Park Friday night. We hope everybody comes out and sees the show. And who do you have with you this time in the band? Uh, we have Ricky Bird on, on guitar, who's been with me since the Black Heart started. And on drums, we have Tommy Price, who's played with Billy Idol, and Chasm Salton from Utopia. So we are looking forward to a good show yes, here in Lexington Park. Nice and hot. Okay, well, we really appreciate you calling us Great, this afternoon, right. and we'll see you Friday night. And, Joan, one quick question. I know you were at Tyson's Corner. I don't mean the shopping center, but you went out to see Mike Tyson spar, didn't you? Yes, I oh, did. I didn't know you were a fight fan. Yes, I am, actually. That's great. I don't know why sometimes, but I am. And the other question was, where can you play a song in the jukebox for a dime in the United States? There are sometimes <laughs> there's places in the Midwest you'd be surprised where things are still very 
very, very cheap. Is that right? Yes. Great. Sometimes you still get a Coke for 35 cents. <laughs> you know, the, the machine, you know, you put it in, you get the bottle, that kind of stuff. Too pl not too many places. <laughs> but, you know, I, I couldn't change the lyrics. Good luck to you and thank Elliot. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, see me all I want some style Your dead end dreams don't make you smile I'll give you something